Welcome in guys to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. This is your host, Just Call Me Tex. And we're back, getting ready to discuss Battle Pass number four. Every Battle Pass has been gradually getting better and better and better. And Battle Pass four does not disappoint. Just recently released by Walker Texas Ranger, better known as Tex. We've been waiting for this. We want to see what's going to be in this battle pass, what is to come. Um, from the looks of things, um, we can see that um, obviously there's going to be a new weapon. Christmas theme is going on right now. And it looks like Beta, Andrea, Michonne, and May are all in this battle pass. Man, this is going to be something to look forward to. So let's go ahead and get into it. You've been dying to know, and we're happy to share everything that is coming your way in our Battle Pass 4. So the dates for this Battle Pass is gonna run us from the 7th, which is next week, all the way to the 25th of January. The Royal Coins, as normal, lasts about three days afterwards. So you wanna go ahead and collect as much as you possibly can. Now, weekly challenges there will be two type of battle pass challenges weekly will last one week and seasonal challenges are meant to be um tackled during the entire duration of the battle pass so weekly challenges will include objective base uh, on combat tournament participation and resource collections or use and season long objective will continue of leveling fighters mods crafting weapons and logging challenges so nothing pretty much changed there it's the same thing as last season um, which is good. I love the weekly challenges and I also love those uh, season long challenges. It gives you a chance to be able to get the most out of your battle pass. So you earn the battle pass points. You collect the points the weekly and season challenges to progress through the tiers and the battle pass rewards. The tiers will award you special rewards and royal coins um, to spend in a battle pass shop. Now note. Royal coins will expire at the end of the event, so be sure to spend them all in the battle pass for the shop end. So make sure that you spend them all because they're going to end. You cannot carry them over. This is a mistake that I've seen some people make before. They don't carry over. Spend them, spend them, spend them, spend them. They do not carry over, so do that. So now, this is a get wrap pistol. So we see that the new third, um, um, the new uh, tier 30 weapon is a Christmas companion for the governor. The gift wrap pistol will have a regular pistol skin for the first few days of the event. This will have no effect on the performance and the new gift wrap pistol will be applied a few days later. Uh, the elves need some extra time to wrap it, so we apologize for the inconvenience. That is going to be pretty, pretty neat. All right, so the new S-Class characters, this is where it hits big at. S-Class Michonne, S-Class Beta, S-Class May, and S-Class Andrea, okay? these new characters you can get in the battle pass now um we already know what the battle pass is we've been playing with it for about four seasons it's the same thing you progress through you earn battle pass points you use those points to be able to get s-class cards or other things that are in the um battle pass um shop now if you want to unlock the until wards um, you can purchase the uh, Royal Battle Pass tier. I purchase it every season. It is worth it. To be able to get an S-Class character for $24.99, it, it's $19.99. It's ridiculous to be able to do that, okay? Because these characters normally run a couple hundred dollars if you're um, purchasing them, or you'll have to wait down the line to be able to get them once they become available. So. Um, it's definitely worth it now um, With this royal pass you'll be able to keep track of your progression. There's still 18,600 battle pass points um, In total that has not changed um, You still have the hundred and six hundred battle pass uh, Projections there as far as the points you can earn um, you have three different types of challenges easy medium hard challenges through gameplay you can be able to um get all of this uh through gameplay so how do we track the events progress is definitely uh, going to be tracked um down um in the, in the events a part of um man I, I forgot that the actual name of it but um when you're on uh the walking dead if you go to it here 
Um, let's go out of here real quick. It's under the missions tab, events. You can be able to look and see what uh, um, your battle pass progress should be up here in this area. So you can be able to see that um, there. Now, um, we get S-Class Michonne you, and we'll get to that. We get about, I believe it's 4,000. Um, you get 4,000 S-Class Andrea cards. Um, but you can get up to a full beta May on Michonne, two five star Michonne's May beta, and 6,000 um, cards for May beta and Michonne. This is crazy because these are all really great characters, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna talk over each one of them why they are definitely needed now. Let's go ahead and go into the game so we can look at each one of these characters. And I'm gonna tell you what my choice will be. I'm already working on beta. I have my second beta. I have 2,200 cards. I'm already working on beta. Beta is gonna be an absolute beast. He is definitely one you want to be able to get. So let's go ahead and look at um, beta's S-Class kit so you can see what that is. If you're not familiar with it, let me go to beta. Where is he at? Okay, so he's here. So this is what happens with beta, right? He does waste not two, I believe. Um, and what happens is he attacks two characters. So whatever spills over from that critical hit from those characters will attack adjacent character. It's possible that beta could take out a whole team. Now. Um, turn two up to two teammates recover from impair um, This character gets 25% um, of their max health for um, Three turns now, this is where he absolutely hits hard at this character and up to one other teammate recover from all penalties and he deals 12,000 damage 12,000 percent damage up to two enemies that damage output is absolutely insane Personally, Beta is a character that I'm going after. There's no question about it. I, I pair him in my team with Priya. Lights out. He'll be lights out. So I definitely going to do that. Now, when attacking, a better chance to recover from days and to daze the enemy two turns. Beta will also work really well against Jesus teams. Because Jesus does... Um, he does that uh, turn one um, um, impair. So if you hit him with beta and it works, bam, beta recover from days even though he doesn't, even though Jesus doesn't daze. And you also be able to daze Jesus from using that active for two turns. So beta is a absolute monster when you build him properly. So beta is definitely one that I am going after in that season pass. Now, the other one is Andrea. Andrea is really good. You can only get 4,000 cards of Andrea. She's a premium character. You definitely need her. I've actually seen some of my friends who are in 1A, 1B have a beta Andrea combo in wreck shop. It's absolutely crazy. So she has cutthroat too. Um, Andrea also um, up to two enemies get normalized for two turns and all teammates get focused for two turns so this is gonna um, overdo taunt and things of that nature um, to be able to help your team go ahead and rush on that second or third turn now she does a thousand percent damage to a line of enemy up to two other teammates gain 50% AP and get 50% attack now, at the start of each turn, this character recovers from impair and gains 30% AP. She's ridiculous, okay? Definitely a great addition to the battle pass. So, so far, we've covered two of them. They are absolutely top-notch. These are the two characters I will go after. Now, S-Class May. S-Class May has Waste Not. Once again, she's a Waste Not 2 character. 
um she uh one enemy gets normalized for two turns up to two enemies get negative 50 percent defense for two turns this character gains 35 percent ap she does 900 percent damage up to two characters if she's on a defensive team she will absolutely shred her offense with a priya on there things of that nature depending on how you built her you can build her really well to work on defense or offensive team um get 100 percent hail reduction for two turns and up to two enemies get negative 40 uh percent of negative 40 ap which means that it's gonna delay them an extra turn when they go to rush absolutely great and then at the start of every turn this character regains 50 percent of her max hp she is an absolute monster too so this is one you would definitely definitely um want to be able to have and last but not least which is um she's been in the game for a little while now is michonne now i recommend if you are having problems with jackie teams okay let me find her if you are having problems with jackie teams you want to go after s class michonne because she is the jackie counter she is one of those direct jackie counters um and i'm gonna show you her kit here she does guardian turn one up to two enemies get days for two turns this character gets 50 percent crit and um for three turns and gains 40 percent ap she deals 12 um thousand percent damage to one enemy up to two enemies get confused for two turns this character recovers from all penalties she's a beast and this is where she hits home at up to two other characters get a hundred percent confused resistance could you imagine going into the battle where your mods block two uh confuse resist and then she gives herself and up to two other characters um confuse resist you're gonna be in there you're gonna get the jackie turn two you're gonna destroy her take her out easy peasy so these are the characters that are going to be in the battle pass now my rank for how i will go for them my first i'm going for beta the second one that i'm gonna go for once i get beta i'm gonna go for michonne because jackie is meta i need to get s class michonne i already have one of her i'm gonna just go ahead use the rest go for michonne if i have anything left over which i probably won't it's gonna be andrea and then may in that order those are my four for the battle pass so there you have it battle pass season four is getting ready to come we got to wait to see what that weapon's gonna look like. I so forward, I so look forward to it and everything, man. I thank you guys for watching. Hit that like, subscribe button, notification bell for more videos like this. This is your boy Just Call Me Text. Battle Pass 4 is on its way Monday. Peace.